Hi everyone, it's Bess here. Mm, the time is yet again middle of the night in Brisbane. Uh, it's about half past one, I think. Actually, it's not middle of the night. It's not as late as I was. And I'm down in my garage. I've got my Cornish flags up now. Bit of England. Um, as you can see, we've unpacked a bit more. Yep. <laughs> and I wanted to do my daily um, mini make with you. Now, I was actually going to make something today. Um over in the studio, but I have had just the worst day because, well, not the worst day, but we had our removal van today and I had Laurel and Hardy as my removalists. They were just ridiculous. They were really had no muscles, which is, is kind of a fundamental thing that you need if you're going to be a removal man. Uh, they had no clue. <laughs> and I appreciate at this hard time uh, with people out of work, uh, we'll all take uh, anything we can get. But they did look like they just stepped off the street, had no idea. Consequently, there's a bit of damage here and there. Um, and uh, it took forever. Slow as. Uh, oh my goodness, if my dad was here, it'd be in sticking a rocket up there. Um, it was just a painful. You're paying by the hour. And it was just like every time I turned around, they were sat there having a little chat. And I was like, right, we're ready for the next thing now. Anyway, so it took forever. Um, and because it took forever, I, I had kind of planned it would be finished by lunchtime. And then in the afternoon, I'd take you all over to the studio and give you a little make. But that hasn't happened. But I'm really committed to making sure that I do one of these every day. So and to be honest, I also carried heaps of the furniture, which kind of negates pain for somebody. But um, David was working. So in order to speed up the process, I was actually carrying furniture with the removal men. Dumb and dumber, as I like to call them. Anyway, so here I am. I'm in my cath kits and pyjamas. I went to bed because I was absolutely banjaxed. I am not as young and as fit as I like to think I am. Um, and it was brutal on my body. So by the time I'd made tea for everybody, uh, I went to bed, quite frankly. Now I've woken up and I've gone, I didn't do my video. I haven't. There's people that are wanting to do some drawing or something at home. So I've woken up. So in light of the fact some people said... I couldn't do the sip and paint, Karen, because I don't have any paints and I don't have anything. So that rules me out. Today, because I'm in this at home and it's the middle of the night and I've got no paints home here, let's do something using what I can find. This is the same. I did say to you that my art classes are all about making it accessible to everyone. So this is my pen and pencil pot from my desk upstairs. Here we go. You can see a little picture of me and my hubby. Cute. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm not very good at this. There you go. Um, and then there's all my pens and pencils, okay? So we're going to use whatever we find. That's just my normal stationary caddy upstairs on my desk. There's a really cool ooh, 3D spider postcard that I bought to send to Paul Warren because he hates um, spiders, but as of yet, I haven't sent it. And, you know, post-it notes, I could draw on that. Um business card I could draw on that that's one of my business cards you could draw on that so we're going to use whatever we find there and then let's have a quick hi Patricia you're awake too I can't sleep I go to bed thinking about far too much okay so as you can see if I flip around you can see we are very much in box heaven still still unpacking so we have got the options we're going to find whatever we find packing paper that would work I could draw on the back of this is actually from True Arts Company, 2013 workshops. There you go. But the back of that, that's a bit of paper. That would work. Um, Glen Campbell album. Yep, I could draw on that if I wanted to, make it really personalised. I don't think it's ever going to become a real hot uh, financial um, thing that I'm going to make loads of money on. It's a bit raggedy, so that's an option. I'm going to grab that. And then some inspiration. Ooh, well... You could take anything to draw. So when people say, oh, I don't know what to draw, what am I going to draw? You could use any flyer, any bit of picture, anything you've got, Brisbane Kids magazine, anything that you've got that you could use as a picture to draw on. I collect all sorts of things, but I'm, a, I'm that sort of person. Oh, 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 oh. This one is lovely. This book is gorgeous. If you haven't seen it, a big heads up to this book. So we, book, we bought this book um 
and it's become our kind of it's become our kind of um book club book um it's the book of book club right i'm just going to put all this down on the sofa and it's called the art of well-being and that to be honest at this time of the world um at this time in the world that's exactly what we need so you know find something at home what have you got and let's draw something. So I'm going to draw one of the pictures in here. You can watch me and get something to draw on and you can do it with me. Okay. So let's draw, let's draw her. She's beautiful. Let's draw her. Okay. So I'm going to put her down. I'm going to find something to draw on. I'm going to draw on the back of this piece of paper here. And what I've decided is that um, I'm going to do a daily doodle. So while Corona um, COVID-19 is on, coronavirus is on, I'm going to do a little drawing, and as well as all my other makes and sip and paints, I'm going to do a drawing every single day, okay? And I'm going to create a little book called My Daily Doodles. It might be a digital book or something, a digital online thing. Let's see if we can get as many digital daily doodles around the world and everybody submit them. So everybody can draw at home, can't they? All right, so I've got... I'm uh, resting on my Glen Calvin album. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is draw a semicircle. Super easy. I'm using just a, a black um, stylo black pen, but you could use a biro. After I've drawn the semicircle, I'm then going to draw a, like a wave shape. So, whoa, up, as if I'm doing a wave. Down the other side, just a little curve. That's going to be the fringe. Now, I don't know who illustrated this book, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'll have a look in a minute so I can make sure I give the right credit. Um, but her illustrations are gorgeous. And there's nothing shameful in a town like this actually using other people's illustrations. So that's a little letter U there. Two little dots in the middle. See, her face is already coming. There's nothing shameful about using somebody else's art to copy. We've all drawn, or how many times I've um, drawn Vincent van Gogh I do not know and we don't complain about that so okay the mouth we're going to make a cute little mouth and I'm going to make it a little bit wobbly because I want you to see that sometimes having imperfection actually looks cuter than trying to get it perfect so I could have done a perfect let me show you over here I could have tried to do a perfect mouth which would be oh you know your heart shape up your heart your mountain there like this like this, but that's very cutesy. So I'm kind of doing it a bit more scribbled, which was the same as the way they've drawn it. Okay, the style of her little faces is really high hair. So we're gonna we're gonna do hair that goes right up here. So it's like a little hamburger mountain, and then down the side of the head. And she's got a bit of a like a little knotty bun which is kind of cute. And again, just making it wobble a little bit. Underneath her chin, underneath her lips, underneath the chin is where the neck's... And this neck is definitely cartoon because it's way too thin to actually hold the size of her head, but it's kind of cute. And we're going to go down one side to her shoulders, out to her elbow, and down to the middle. And that's just kind of like a little uh, right angle, isn't it? Exactly the same out to the shoulders, down to the elbow, and into the middle. She's looking cute. Now, I might personalise her a little bit. Now, she's got posy cheeks. I'll do those later. And she's got this beautiful floral, um, floral headdress. So, let's put some flowers in. So, like I say, dumb and dumber today. Oh, my Lord. Deary, deary me. They were a nightmare. Oh, I've got paid by the hour. I kept thinking to myself, it's okay. It's okay. This is the last bit. Then we'll have moved house. In a minute, the whole of Australia is going to grind to a, ha a halt and I'm not going to be able to move house. So, just go with it. Just go with it. Just go with it. Um, and we needed the fridge. You know, a week in an esky. Uh, keep on buying ice. Nothing's really staying cold. No wine on tap, which is a total pain in the bum. I'm going to make a little bumblebee kind of thing there, hovering over the flowers. 
let's make sure we've done a couple of leaves. See how I've over I've gone over that line. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. That's why I mean I'm I'm as you can see I'm pet drawing straight away with the black. If you feel worried about it, then of course you can draw in pencil first and then you can go over in the black line. But you can just draw straight away in black and flowers can be whatever shape you want them to be. Okay, so you can see, and a lot of mine are just scribbly little lines. Circle, this is your classic Daisy one. So you've got the thing in the middle. My daughter's called Daisy. Um, she was born on our wedding anniversary and we had Michaelmas daisies for our wedding flowers. So that's why Daisy's called Daisy. And she's a beautiful young thing too. Okay, so am I going to do any more than that? Yeah, I'm going to do one here. I'm going to do one that's kind of more like a rose that goes round and round. So these are just like little little curvy shapes that go round and round a centerpiece like that. And then I want to do some kind of tendrils. So on mine, I'm then going to go curly whirly, curly whirly, curly whirly, curly whirly over here. Curly whirly, I might put a leaf down there as well. Now on her, um, on the one on the uh, front cover of this Art of Wellbeing, she's got this lovely crisscross pattern, which I think I'm going to do, because I think it looked really nice. So we're going to do four lines that way, then four lines that way, then four lines that way. It's a bit like a um, parquet floor, something like that little mats that go one way. So it's getting texture. I don't think it really matters which way I go, so I'm just kind of alternating it. I don't think it really matters if you do four lines or three lines, really. But hopefully you can see, we're starting to get a bit of texture in the hair. I'm gonna do these this way so that you can see it as almost like a parting. And go that way, and go that way, then go that way. So it's really cute, like this morning, well, this evening. So, what would it have been my time about? About nine o'clock, bless my gorgeous mum. She phoned me on FaceTime to say, Right, I'm all set up. Have a look. I've got all my paints. And she had a whole load of like poster paints, some watercolours, some random paints that I'd left behind, some paint brushes she got a jam jar out of her re recycling under the sink to put her paint brushes in for a water pot so she had exactly what i was saying find anything you've got at home people and just put it out and she said right i want to do your your sip and paint karen um because when i watched it live i'd just come in from the oldie shopping as i told you on the day and she said and and i it was too late. You're already too far on it. So I'm going to do it as a catch up. I said, brilliant. Amazing. Yeah, but I can't seem. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, she said. And I'm waiting for you to start. And you keep saying you'll be starting in 20 minutes, but you're not starting. And I said, oh, mum, bless you. You're actually watching my kind of like promo. <laughs> All right. So I'll, I'll just go make a cup of tea and then you'll start in a minute, will you? And I said, no, no, I won't start in a minute. That's a different video. You have to go to my next little video to show me starting. Dear of her heart. Anyway, she did an amazing painting because she then said that all of her paints were... I'll just flip you around so I can talk. She said all of her paints were all dried up. So um, she couldn't paint at all with the poster paints. I said, well, that's okay. Just use watercolour. There's plenty of people that have just used watercolours. So she did. She used watercolours and she did a beautiful job. So let's hope that mum does a few more. Uh, fantastic. My mum is... Um, 73 I think she's 74 this year so she's in that category of having to stay at home and keep busy um and so you know what I'm showing you today for anyone that's that sort of age get yourself a biro anyone can draw and actually have some fun in drawing enjoy it all right so let's go back to it flip back see my ugly face for long enough now she's got some beautiful fairy wings well I don't know if they're fairy wings they're wings made out of petals I'm going to change the shape I'm going to go for a leaf shape so I'm going to Go for a leaf shape. And li li children, you could definitely do these. Let's do daily doodles. Let's start a little book. Get a little, a, a little book if you've got one at home or some scrap paper that you could clip together and call it your daily doodles book. Daily doodles, they shouldn't last, I don't know, more than 10, 15 minutes. Mine's 
going to be a bit longer because I'm chatting to you and obviously I'm videoing at the same time. But you could be sat and do it every day at breakfast. It's a really nice, you know, we all talk about having meditation and time out and time to have a think and all that sort of stuff. And a daily doodle, a little bit of a, a little bit of a drawing exercise each day would be gorgeous. So that could be a really nice thing to add to your routine. And then by the end of COVID-19, which could be in a week, two weeks, six months, as they're saying in Australia, you're going to have this beautiful book of six months drawing. Okay, now we're going to put this pot of love in the middle. And I'm gone across the middle. I'm going to go down one side and back in, down one side and back in. I'm going to draw a heart right in the middle. And I'm just going to put a couple of little dots for decoration. And then I'm going to do this like little curvy skirt on my little pot. Beautiful. And then I am going to put my the little fingers for her holding it. And now we are going to do uh, like a the top of her dress. So I'm going to give her um, like a leaf shape top of her dress across like that you could do whatever you wanted to do you could do another flower if you wanted to and then I'm going to do a big flower there to cover her boobies okay so let's make these into Oh my God, my ba my phone's going to say low battery now. Of course it is. That's okay. We're just going to have to speed up the drawing. Okay, into her skirt. Her skirt is going to be all flowers, people. So I'm going to try and hold this a bit better. Rotate your phone. Oh my goodness me. It's so hard to do. Okay, so nice healthy things. Let's have an avocado. There's my avocado. I'm going to do a couple of avocados. Love a good avo in the morning. Have an avo in Aussie. And then we'll do an apple. So these going to be all my healthy things made into a skirt. Another apple. Oh, I went a bit um, pointy on that apple, but that's okay. We'll just go around the bottom. I might color that in a bit and let's color that one in so they look different okay let's do a carrot and another carrot like that and another carrot there like that you might have to do the tops of the carrots so people can see what else could we have we could have some bananas this is my bananas, little bunch of bananas. You could leave this as a black and white doodle or you could color it in using colors. Um, be really lovely for the kids to color in using some beautiful colored textures. I'm gonna do some quick scribbly kind of flowers. I like kind of this kind of scribbly loose texture. <laughs> uh, I think we need to have another carrot there like that to balance it out and she needs something around her waist so let's just do that kind of scallopy line around her waist okay let's do an orange put some dots on my orange and I do an orange here it's been a really weird day um it started off uh, last night with the announcement um, of all the things, you know, Australia people is in lockdown now. Um, there is no interstate travel as of tomorrow lunchtime. So all the borders have closed. Um, obviously, you can't fly anywhere either. Um, schools are still open um, and there was a heated debate between my friends um, around here about whether they're sending their children to school or not. You know what? 
that's up to you as a family. Uh, we did send the children to school. Um, it's still the advice of the government to send our children to school. But is that the right thing to do? Uh, the jury's out on that. I might live to regret it. So, uh, But at the moment, we're just following the protocol, I guess, for want of knowing what else to do. And the fact that obviously we had the removal van today. So I didn't really want the children all around when everything was being moved. But who knows? We're all doing the best we can. Um, it is a really, really, really strange time. What is strange is that we know all this is happening and yet you go outside our door and here in the Gap, uh, which is, as I said, the suburb of Brisbane, um, it we're not wearing masks. I have seen one or two people wearing masks. We're not at the stage yet uh, like it would seem the rest of the world or some countries are. Um, I don't even think you can buy masks in our in our pharmacy. I'll have a look tomorrow and see if we can. Um, I had a couple of really opy, ropey old art masks, and actually, my kids said to me, "What happens, Mum, if we want if we have to draw uh, wear masks? Um, are we going to be able to?" And I said, "Well, I don't know because I'm not going to go into the city to go and buy a mask. And if we can't get them in our local shop, then uh, maybe not. So maybe we'll have to make them." I said, um, "I'm just going to go up here and do the crisscross for the hair." Um, so I, we could be doing an art tutorial on how to make a homemade mask in a minute, I think, um, in the studio, get me trusty sewing machine out and let's make that together. I've seen that there are some people around the world that are doing that. So, so here she is. She's got her little veggie and, um, flower skirt. She's looking beautiful. Um, I'm going to give her a couple of legs and she looks gorgeous, doesn't she? We might put a little butterfly flying in there and another one flying there and we might just put a couple of little daisy flowers in the background so it is a really difficult been a really difficult day um you know it's a whole new a whole new world all of the pubs clubs shops they all stopped, uh, not the shops, the retail shops are open, pubs, clubs, gyms, churches, everybody shut their doors today. Um, Scott Morrison is saying that um, this is going to be for six months. This is going to be the new norm for six months. Um, you know, we've only just got the Blind Tiger in the Gap, which is our local pub. It's been fantastic. I've been doing sip and paints there. Um, you know, absolutely love the fact that we had for the first time a little bar in our um suburb where we could connect with our friends and david would get off the bus when he was in in the city and he would phone me and say come and have a quick drink leave the kids for 10 um and you know I mean, my kids are much older than a lot of you so you know leaving the kids for half an hour we went out a quick drink when i've got to high school was no drama at all but obviously we can't do that anymore um and that's really sad. So we hope the that we hope that businesses like the Blind Tiger will stay open and will work through these troubled times. Look, you know, I'm making no money. We we've all got to do what we can do, haven't we? All right. So I finished my drawing. I'm now going to quickly have a look in my pot for a little bit of colour. So I've got a text, uh, a green marker, a red marker. I don't know what else I've got. A pencil. Okay, so that's what I've got, and we're just going to do a little bit of colouring in. So I'm going to give her a little posy cheek, and another little posy cheek. I'm going to colour in the red apples. Less is more sometimes when you're doing things like this. Just do a little bit of colouring. Oh, and let's do the red heart in the middle with my red texture. And I think that's all I'm gonna do with the red. Then I'm gonna get my green highlighter pen and I'm going to do this little row of green leaves here. I might do a couple of green leaves in her hair crown. Um, definitely gonna do my avocados. One, two, couple of these little leaves here, a couple of leaves over there. Beautiful. She's so cute. I love her. 
Okay, I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to shade this pot in pencil. And then to make it a bit darker, I'm going to shade just one side to make it round. You can see I'm just shading it the opposite way to the way I shaded it then. I'm just a little bit pressing a bit harder there. Okay, we'll also shade in, um, maybe we'll shade in a couple of these flowers, the big flowers, in the grey tone, like that. We might do one up in her hair as well. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to shade right over her hair to take away the white. So when I'm shading, I'm holding my pencil and I'm just using the side of my pencil blade. So you can see I'm holding my pencil down here and I'm just using the side of my pencil to get the color to come out. If I hold it on my pencil grip, it will be really sharp and I want to use the side edge of that pencil. Okay, the side edge of that pencil. All right, I'm just gonna see if I've got a yellowy color. I'm not sure if I have. Not everybody has craft knives in their um in their little box. I've got three. Who knew? Uh, so I've got a brown. I see I've got these double ones that came from school. And I think that's all the colours I've got. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a blue. So let's take the blue off. And let's put one of these flowers in blue. Oh, it's quite it's quite dark. So I'm not gonna try and colour it in because it's really, really quite big. So I'm just going to do a little stroke here, a little stroke there, just for a little bit of colour. Let's do this one over here. But because it's got a big, big nib, if I um, try and colour it in too much, it's going to be huge. Um, okay. I quite like to do these in blue, maybe. Do the insides of them, because it will make them stand out, make them look like little wings, won't it? I was hoping to have a yellow highlighter there, because I would have done the little stars in yellow but I haven't, so I can't. Okay, but I do have a pink one. So let's do my stars in pink. This is the other end of that. Oh, this is a very chunky one too. Okay, so I'm just gonna color in the center of that star. And let's do another, another little one. That one there, uh, and that one there. And that one there. Right. So that is my daily doodle for today. Leaning on my Glen Campbell uh, al album at half past one, two o'clock in the morning. And um, using everything that I had. Well, here's what I've used. Let's put it out there so you can have a look. This is what I've used today just to do that. Textures, a biro, a pencil. So proving on, on a scrap bit of paper. Proving to you that everybody can do something at home. It's so easy um, and it's lovely. You forget how much you love doing art. And if you have never done it before, now is the time to try something new. I am definitely going to be doing people's online workouts from home for sure. And if we are in total lockdown, my husband and I both have said we've always wanted to learn the piano. So I'm thinking that we might even try to learn the piano while we are in lockdown. We're not in lockdown yet in Australia. We're in lockdown in our, in our state, but we're not in our lockdown in our house. If we get to that stage, like they are in Italy, we're going to have to have a plan ahead, okay? Because I'm going to be uh, teaching... Um, the children, that's for sure. Um, but uh, I'm going to need to do something for myself. So, all right, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Uh, as always, I will share this afterwards so you'll be able to do it from home. Um, I'm going to say, look at my lovely calf kits and um, pajamas that my husband bought me on his last trip, last trip to the UK. So, goodbye from my garage. Um, hopefully, I haven't woken up the neighbours by chittering away. Um, it's been lovely. I love doing this, and I'm hoping that I'm helping a few of you. I want to see some of your little drawings, see some of your little beautiful pictures. So I'm going to leave you with that and I will see you tomorrow.